And then since we uh, defined the function pricing error, so now we have to run bootstrapping, okay? Basically, based on bootstrapping, we could find the pricing error. So we have to find correct seed, correct that value, then make this pricing error zero or the value of power bond equal to one, okay? So here, power, power bond, yeah, power bond, basically, well, power bond is power bond's price is equal to its power value, okay, face value. Here, which is one here, okay. To generate power value, we can simply make a coupon bond, which that pays YTM simply, okay. So if a bond pays YTM, then it is basically par value, par bond, or par bond to manufacture a par bond. We can simply make a coupon bond that pays YTM. Okay, good. And then we have to do optimization. So where uh, let's make a zero rate, zero rate, zero rate is NP. Uh, what we can do is YTM multiplied by zero. Okay, we can simply YTM multiplied by zero. Okay. So it has, it has the same length, zero. And then the very first zero rate is of course same to the very first YTM, okay? Very first YTM. So, Zero rate zero is very first YTM. So that is basically actually same to so same to risk free zero. Okay, the first one is basically same to this one. And we are gonna keep using zero rate. Okay. So zero rate. And then what we can do is now, well, this is a bit, <laughs> a bit difficult part. So for I in range from one, because we know the very first one from one to Length of YTM. Okay, YTM. What we are going to do is so zero rate I, okay, is we are going to run bootstrapping. Okay, so optimize. And then in optimize, we need Newton Raphson method, Newton. And then we will optimize the par value function, par value. And the second argument is initial guess. Initial guess, let's assume our initial guess is simply same to the previous yield to maturity. Previous spot rate, previous spot rate. So it is our initial guess. And then we need the argument of the, this one. And it is simply this one, I. Okay, so argument is simply I. Argument is simply 
uh, this simply I. Simply I and then not defined, the zero rate. Zero rate is not defined, so it is zero race. Sorry. Zero rate is not defined, zero rate S. Sorry, so zero rate S. Argument one. It must be iterable, not integer. Must be iterable. So, okay. Let me change this one. Okay, it works. Okay. And then uh, let's print risk free. Let's print uh, first risk free. And then let's print zero rate. Okay, zero rate looks like the first one is same and then zero rate looks like this one, okay? So we have a zero, so it is a spot curve, okay? So let me compare, so print um, tabulate it and then original YTM and zero rate. And then, yeah. case yes so hmm. <laughs> anyway so well we have this one so the first one is our original data yield curve and second is from yield curve we did bootstrapping and then from bootstrapping we get the uh, zero coupon bond so well this is become higher so this is this one, this one similar, uh, but uh, not exactly the same. So I think this is probably right, okay? Three, okay, fine. Okay, so we get a zero curve yield, zero rate. And then next, okay, since we are doing uh, modeling monthly, so extend the quarterly uh, yield curve to monthly yield curve. So we have quarterly yield curve, so we can simply extrapolate, extrapolate to the monthly the intermediate. So what we can do is first, let's define X is uh, MP array, and then it is uh, quarterly. So this one, and then quarterly. So I plus one divided by four, divided by four. For I in, okay, range is of course T multiplied by four. Then we have from zero to five to seven, okay. <laughs> okay, now we have to do monthly. Monthly, so now we have to divide 12. Okay, so it is 12. Okay, and then X1 is, okay, and then N is seven, so every 12, every month, so, okay. And then we have a quarterly yield curve, and then we want a month zero rate, month zero rate. And then in Python, we have a very beautiful, uh, we have a beautiful,
curve. So what we can do is Uh, and P inter interpolation. This is interpolation. Okay, we will do interpolation, and then uh, we have a quarterly zero rate. So we have x one, and then we have x quarterly zero rate, and then we have a zero rate. Zero rate. Oh, not the same rate. So actually, actually, we have to have a YTM. Okay. Okay. Actually, risk free. Okay. More right, right. We have risk free rate. Right. All right. So we have risk free rate. Something like this. So we interpolate month leisure rate, month zero rate, like this. So we have interpolation, okay, for zero rate for every month.